Ghost, hallelujah. The next prayer focus is I conquer my geographical land. Say it after me. God, we give you victory. You believe? Shout hallelujah. Are you sleeping? If you are not sleeping, shout hallelujah. Amen. Time is not our friend. So let's quickly read from Genesis chapter 26. Genesis chapter 26, 16 to 24. And Abimelech, are you there? And Abimelech said unto Isaac, Go from us, for thou art much mightier than we. That's the king of Philistines. And Isaac departed thence and pitched his tent in the valley of Gera and dwelt there. And Isaac dig again the wells of water, which they had dig in the days of Abraham his father. But the Philistines had stopped them after the death of Abraham. And he called their names after the names by which his father had called them. And Isaac's servant dig in the valley and found there a well of springing water. You will find a well of springing water in the mighty name of Jesus. And the headmen of Gera did strive with Isaac's headmen, saying, The water is ours. And he called the name of the well Essek, because they strove with him. And they dig another well, and strove for that also. And he called the name of it Sitna. And he removed from thence and dig another well. And for that they strove not. And he called the name of it Rehoboth. And he said, For now the Lord had made room for us, and we shall be fruitful in the land. And he went up from thence to Beersheba. And the Lord appeared unto him the same night, and said, I am the God of Abraham, thy father. Fear not, for I am with thee, and will bless thee, and multiply thy seed for my servant, Abraham's sake. Hallelujah. I conquer my geographical land. Geographical. When we talk of geographical land, it's talking about your location. Where you are. As you are sitting down, this is a geographical location. You know, this uh, subject is very interesting to me as a crop scientist of international repute. Amen. You know, when I conduct experiments on the teaching and research farm, and I'm sending the uh, manuscript to the US or UK. All I need to say is that this experiment was conducted at the teaching and research farm of the Obafemi Awolowo University. Somebody wondered, where is Obafemi Awolowo University for God's sake? And I will say, it's located on latitude so so so, longitude so so so, at two meters above sea level. If you are an international scientist, you don't need any other information. You get it. They locate you there. Hallelujah. You see, in the days when we were publishing international journals, international papers, anyone that fails to mention the coordinates, they will just throw the paper into the dustbin, rejected. The reason is that they can't locate where you are talking. If they can, if you mention the GPS, they know the results you will get from there. They don't need to be told that that teacher and research farm is in the tropical rainforest of Nigeria, just by the coordinates. Amen. If you don't mention the coordinate, they can't locate you, your paper will be trash. If you write 40, the 40 will be trash. Simple and short. God will locate you. God will locate you. Your geographical location now is Ile Ife. It's also state. It's also Nigeria. If I'm on that teacher and research farm, and somebody could phone me, maybe from Benin, and say, where are you located? If I mention the coordinate of teacher and research farm, he doesn't need any direction. He will just press something in the helicopter, and he will land in the teacher and research farm, provided there is a place for an helicopter to land. Do you understand? Which means, if somebody will be attacked, they will attack you on a particular land. Are you, they can attack you <laughs> in the air. They will attack you. Even if it's in the air, it's on a land. 
If you will prosper, it has to be on a land. If some people will strive with you, it has to be on a land. In the case of Isaac that we read, they said, the Abimelech, the king of Philistines, told him, Isaac, go away from here. You are too great for us. You know, like some people will tell you, some people will say, I pray that the lecturer will mark my script before your own. Because by the time he marks your own, and you score 95%, Ah, then he will have raised the bar. Are you with me? <laughs> and then any other thing, somebody like if he doesn't, if he makes any mistake, he will just give him 40 over 100. You will score 100, 100. In the mighty name of Jesus. So he told Isaac, Isaac, leave this place. We don't want you. The only reason they were sending him is that they were intimidated by his success. Somebody will be intimidated by your prosperity, by your success, by your breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Isaac didn't struggle because dominion was inside him. Men of dominion, women of dominion, they don't fight anybody. They don't struggle. He just went to the valley of Gera and he told his servant, dig another way. And they dug. And it was a beautiful way. They strove with him. They took over. He said, no problem. He moved to another location within Gera. Because that was his land. And he has conquered the land. He moved to another location. The dog where it blossomed. A lot of water. And then they strove with him again. What did he do? He moved. He got to a place, another well. And they said, ha, ah, this man, you are too much. Oh. They didn't strive again with him. And he called the place what? Rehoboth, God has made room for us and we shall prosper in the land. When you conquer your geographical land, you will prosper without struggle. When you conquer your geographical land, people will be crying. We are in famine, we are suffering. You will be wondering what's happening. Am I in the same location? Because you are not struggling, you are not, you are not in famine, you are not, you are not in trouble, you are just enjoying yourself. In your own land, if you conquer it, some people will complain that kidnappers are kidnapping them. You say, ah, Ibn Ogba, where did they pass? They cannot kidnap you in your land because you have conquered your land. If they kidnap somebody, it's a sign that he has not conquered his land. You will conquer your land. You will conquer your geographical land in the name of Jesus. In that Gera, there was nowhere that I seek servant dog that didn't get to water. That he didn't prosper because he has conquered his land. Another person will dig where, hundred where in that place, he will not get to water. He will not get water out of that well because he has not conquered the land. The dominion seed was inside Isaac. So anywhere he went, it was dominion all the way. That shall be your story. That shall be your story. That shall be your story. In the name of Jesus. The implication of this before you pray is that if you are in your land, go and write it down and quote me that I said so. If you are in your land, you will have landed property in that land. If you don't have landed property, it shows you have not conquered the geographical land. Go and write it down. Hello? If you are a student today, you will build houses tomorrow. You will build houses someday. And that is a sign that you have conquered your land. When you are in your land, you don't rent houses because they can drive you out anytime. The landlord can get annoyed. One day I say, park. If you are organizing a church and you are renting a place, you are at the mercy of the landlord. The devil can give him injection and he will give you quick notice. <laughs> Praise God. It means you have not conquered that land. So when you conquer a land, you will have a permanent address that does not change. And that is your land. Hallelujah. In Kwaraki, some six years ago, I helped one of the brethren in this church to negotiate for a land in Kwaraki. At that time, a plot of land in Kwaraki was selling for six million naira only. I'm sure today it will be going for 15 million. Yes, go and, go and price one. You won't even find the land. You will only get land from somebody who has bought it long time. Hallelujah. And he, he had the six million. Hello? He didn't steal the money and he bought that 
plot of land. At a time, he felt he doesn't need the land again. He sold it for, I think, more than double. You will prosper in the land. You will conquer your land in the name of Jesus. Good things will happen in your land. In your land, demons can't oppress you. They can't. Where are they coming from? Are they coming through the roof or through the door or through the window? They will collapse. Except you don't know that that is your land. Can you harass a landlord? That day you are parking out. If you are a tenant, harassing the landlord. So when you are in your land, you are the landlord. Are you with me? I think you know the meaning of landlord. Aha. <laughs> Amen. So when you see any demon just telling me you don't harass a landlord, devil, you missed it. From today I chase you out and I chase you out forever. And that's the last time. Praise God. We were on a prayer altar this morning and one of the men of God was hearing a testimony that there was a time they did some festival around and he was praying against the festival that this festival shall not prosper. It is not well with this festival. God, all the key actors in this performance of festival, let them meet Jesus. He said in the night he slept and some masquerade appeared to him. Very terrific. Very terrible. And he said, yes, that's the man. What, 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 why are you doing what you are doing? Why are you praying? We we'll deal with you today. He said, you will deal with me? You don't know me? I'm a child of God. I am born of God. I have authority over you. And they prostrated. Because that was his land. And he has conquered the land. And then they went to another person, not far from him. And they started tormenting the person free of charge. The person could not reply. He can't say, I'm a child of God. He can't say, I'm, I know Jesus. They just oppress him free of charge. That's how the devil oppresses people when they have not conquered their land. Are you with me? When you conquer your land, more often than not, demons will not even appear. Talk less of you commanding them. They won't even come. If they make mistakes to come, that's the last time they will come. Because they will get the beating of their life that they will never forget. May you conquer your geographical land. May you conquer your geographical land. In the name of Jesus. Before we pray, let me close with the testimony of um, Reverend Francis Walioke. Walioke went to preach somewhere in America. And then he was in a church. I think the church was packed full. Maybe about 300, 400. Very big congregation. But it was a rented apartment. And Walioke told them, he said, you have not entered this land. He said, because when you enter the land, you have a permanent address. Ah! And they were challenged. And they prayed. God, we want to enter this city properly. Give us this land. He said about three, so he went back to Nigeria. About two months after, there was a space about 100 meters away from them. And then the owner of the building, you know, you, you hardly find a free space abroad. Uh -huh. The owner, some of them have even problem with land. They build high rising houses so that they will economize the use of land. So they said they, said they are ready to sell it. That they should come. Do you have money? He said the brethren gathered and they raised money. And by the time Waliok was coming back for another convention, they were in their own land. Hallelujah. It's like that. If you are a tenant today, you cannot go from here until God will have assured you you are a landlord. That will happen. That will happen. That will happen. If you have built a house, mind you, you will build houses, is what the Bible says. Did you see in your Bible you will build a house? He said you will build houses and dwell therein. You will not bring up for trouble. Amen. So you will build houses and some of these houses you will rent out. You can't live in more than one house, isn't it? That's your retirement benefits. You just be collecting money. There is a sister that's uh, very close to me somewhere outside the state. I mentor her and she was giving me a testimony because the father was 80 years old and the father celebrated 80. So sometimes you'll be saying that when he, she's a professor, when, that when she had financial crisis, the father bailed him out. Ah, that the father bailed out the younger sister. And the father was not working. I mean, a bit ill. You know, you will just find him seated, you know, I say, how does daddy get this money? Is he still working? Ah, he said he retired from civil service long ago. He said, do you know the secret of my family? I said, I don't know. He said he has 20 shops in Ibadan. 
he has five flats. He said by the time they bring the proceeds every year, he has about, about is it 10 million, she, he called it. Every year. Almost 1 million per month. Hallelujah. Apart from the funds that the children will donate to him, Baba take chop. So sometimes when they are in a, in a mess, Baba will give them 0.5 million. <laughs> Hallelujah. I pray God will open your eyes. I pray God will open your eyes. I pray God will help you to pray. I pray this prayer will bring dividends. It will bring results. And your name will be glorified. So, if I ask you, has Jesus Center entered Ileife? How do you know? I want somebody to come. No, I want to do as if you are in exam. Jesus Center has his permanent address here in Ibadan Road and in Ondo Road. Clafford. Hallelujah. So we have entered life properly. We capture you if you are coming from Undo. We capture you if you are coming from Ibadan. Both ways. Hallelujah. Only God knows the level he is taking us. We are going somewhere. And you won't drop out. You are part of it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Don't think when you are in your land, you will take it easily. I remember when we wanted to build this church, or when we were building the church, pastor will come here, be praying, one old woman will come around, I think afternoon, sir, in white clothes. He will say, pastor, what do you want to do here? One of her calling, ah, don't build house here. You know? Praise God. If you are a pastor that is sitting here in Malane, by every, you will run away, they won't see you again. They will say, where are you? You say, no, I don't want to talk for now. <laughs> Praise God. But I'm sure the pastor confronted her, and that's why we are here today. Amen. Amen. Shall we pray? I want to stand up and say, thank you, Father, for your mercy over me and my family. Be exalted in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for your mercy over me. And my family be exalted in the name of Jesus. Can you take that prayer? Very simple prayer. Thank you, Father, for your mercy over me and my family. Be exalted. Be magnified. Be lifted in the name of Jesus. Rako se karanso keli adabo. Rega ganda po se keke. Raka so keke keke. Rako Shankalanda, Reba Goria Sapo, Rega Ganda Poria, Rako Shekeke. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Lord God of Israel, strengthen me with Holy Ghost fire to conquer my geographical land. Lord God of Israel, strengthen me with Holy Ghost fire to conquer. My geographical land. In the name of Jesus. Lord God of Israel. Strengthen me. With Holy Ghost fire. To conquer. My geographical land. In the name of Jesus. Oh God of Israel. Strengthen me. With Holy Ghost fire. To conquer. My, 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 my geographical land. In the name of Jesus. Rako seka kaka, raga gago ranso kele de boria, rega gaga 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 gaga. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. You remember that God kept telling the children of Israel, He said, "Be strong and of good courage. Be strong." And whereas He has given them the land, why do they need courage? I want to say, I receive the determination, courage, and spiritual drive to conquer my land. I receive the determination, courage, and spiritual drive to conquer my land. In the name of Jesus, I receive the determination, 
I receive the courage. I receive spiritual drive to conquer my land in the name of Jesus. I receive determination. I receive courage. I receive spiritual drive to conquer my lands in the name of Jesus. Rako sekeke. Regaga. Regaga. Ragaga. Regaga. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. You recall that there was a time Jesus sent a church was in a rented apartment in Mafia. Isn't that so? Bola Paco. But today our story is different. Hallelujah. In this place, we have a big expanse of land. In Ondo Road, we have four plots of land. Hallelujah. And we are going to have more landed properties. I want to say, great and mighty God, establish me securely in the land you have allocated to me. Great and mighty God, establish me securely in the land you have allocated to me. <coughs> In the name of Jesus, great and mighty God, establish me securely in the land you have allocated to me. In the name of Jesus, great and mighty God, oh, establish me securely in the land you have allocated to me. In the name of Jesus, Rako Sheke Keke, Roga Gaga Gaga Gaga, Gaga Gaga Boria. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Brethren, when you are in the land that God has given you, don't think you will just be there eating amala and bread, eating biscuits every day. Some forces say, how did you come here? Oh, yeah, check out. Just like that woman that was coming here and said, Pastor, what do you want to do here? Don't try to build any place here or anything here. I want to say, in the land... Where I'm dwelling, I overthrow all forces of darkness contesting my manifestation in the name of Jesus. In the land where I'm dwelling, I overthrow all forces of darkness contesting my manifestation. I overthrow all forces of darkness contesting my manifestation. Rakushe kekekege. Ragagagagagagaga. In the land where I'm located, I overthrow all forces of darkness contesting my manifestation. In the name of Jesus. Ragagagagagaga. Rugagagagagagagaga. Ragagagagagagaga. Ragagagagagaga. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Remember in the case of Isaac, as he was digging where? Success. Another way, success. If they drove him out, they were just helping him. And they were wasting their own time. Success, success, success. That is your story. In the name of Jesus. I want to say, Father, give me landed properties and estates in this land where you put me. Father, give me landed properties and estates in this land where you put me. Father, give me landed properties. Give me estates in this land where you put me. Father, give me landed properties and estates estates in this land where you put me in the name of Jesus. <coughs> in the name of Jesus. Rago gaga la koshe. Rago gaga. Re gaga 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 gaga. In Jesus mighty name we pray. In Jesus mighty name we pray. You see that Isaac was digging well. Successful. Number one, successful. Number two, successful. Number three, successful. They say, this thing is not accidental. Leave him alone. This one, you can't conquer him. You better, I warn you. That's the devil. Talking to his demon. I warn you. 
leave him alone. Otherwise, you may not, you may not come back alive. I want to say, enable me to, to, to successfully dig wells. My father, enable me to successfully dig wells of water and blessing in my land. My father, enable me to successfully dig wells of water and unimaginable blessings in my land. In the name of Jesus, my father, enable me to successfully dig wells, wells of water, wells of unimaginable blessings in my land. <coughs> Bless, unimaginable blessings in my land. In the name of Jesus, well of water, well of unimaginable blessing in my land. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. This is your prayer will come to pass very shortly. When they come to pass, don't say, Oh, you are blessing. Just say, God, I bless you. Let the blessing continue. Let more bless. That will be your story. I want to say, that's prayer eight now. God of Israel, give unto Jesus Center churches landed properties in the cities of Oshobo and Ibadan in the name of Jesus. God of Israel, give unto Jesus Center churches landed properties in Ibad and Oshobo, in the name of Jesus. God of Israel, we receive landed properties by your power, by your hand of dominion in Oshobo and Ibad cities, where you have located us. We receive landed properties in Oshobo and Ibad in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Number nine. I decree anyone that contests with my manifestation, glory, and dominion be brought down in my land. I decree anyone that contests with my manifestation, my glory, my dominion, be brought down in my land by thunder in the name of Jesus. I decree anyone that contests with my manifestation, my glory, my dominion, be brought down in my land by the thunder of heaven. In the name of Jesus, I decree anyone that contests with my manifestation, that contests with my glory, that contests with my dominion, be brought down by the thunder of heaven in my land. Be brought down by the thunder of heaven in my land. Anyone that contests with my manifestation, my dominion, my glory, be brought down in my land. Be brought down by the thunder of heaven. Be brought down in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Isaiah, the Bible says, I will give you the treasures of darkness, riches stored in secret places, that you may know that I'm the Lord. Treasures of darkness, riches stored in secret places. So it's not all the riches that are in the open. There are treasures inside darkness. God sees better in darkness more than light. He's a great God. And God will guide you, children, to access those treasures that he has hidden. That is your story. In the name of Jesus. In your own land. 
I want to say, Father, all the blessings you have reserved for me in my land, I receive strength and Holy Ghost guidance to possess them. My Father, all the blessings you have reserved for me in my land, I receive strength, Holy Ghost guidance to possess them in the name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, all the blessings you have reserved for me in my land, I receive strength of God. I receive Holy Ghost guidance to possess them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Rako sheke ke 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 ke. Rako sheke ke 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 ke. Raga ga 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 la shanda boria. Rega gora so ke 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 ke. Rega ganda poria. Rega ganga ro sheke ke. In Jesus mighty name we pray. As you have cried to the Lord God of Israel who has all power. In heaven and on earth this morning, receive. Amen. Receive grace. Amen. Receive fire. Amen. Strength of God. Amen. Wisdom of God. Amen. Power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. To conquer Amen. in your geographical land. Amen. I decree in your land, nobody harasses you. Amen. In your land, nobody dispossesses you. Amen. In your land, anyone that's comes against you shall fall for your sake. In your land, you will dig well. Well of water. Well of blessing. Unimaginable treasure. By the hand of God. In the name of Jesus. I decree, you, the devil will not relocate you from your land. You will dwell in your land securely. I decree, the devil will not scare you away from your land that the Lord has given you. You will dwell in your land. You will possess it. You will have dominion in your land. Nothing shall terrify you. You will dwell in safety alone. And your spring is secure. In a land of grain and new wine. And the heavens will drop down dew. For you, in your land. In your land, you will not suffer famine. In your land, scarcity is, is not in your dictionary. In the mighty name of Jesus. In your land, you will prosper and flourish with ease, without struggle, by the hand of God. In your land, there is nothing you attempt when you are guided by the Holy Ghost that will not be done. There is no project you lay your hands upon that will not be delivered. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In your land, you will enjoy sweet fellowship with the living God. Your altar shall not be dry. In your land, you will receive the dew of heaven. In your land, you will receive visitation of God. In your land, you will receive daily blessings. In your land, dominion will be very easy for you. In the name of Jesus. In your land, you can die untimely. In your land, you can bring forth for trouble. In your land, you will have biological children. In your land, you will be fruitful. In the name of Jesus. In your land, you will build houses. God will give you estates. You will move forward. You will increase. You will be very great. You will be very mighty. People will confess to you like they confess to our eyes. You are too much for us. You are too great for us. In your land, you will win many souls unto the Lord. When anybody meets you in your land, they will receive Jesus. In your land, you will shine for Jesus. In your land, you won't backslide. You will reach your goal. In your land, you will reach where God has ordained. For you, in the name of Jesus. In your land, confusion is far away from you. In the mighty name of Jesus. God will show you revelation. He will give you angels. In your land, in the name of Jesus. The host of heaven will support you. In your land, in the name of Jesus. Your testimony shall be endless. In your own land. In the mighty name of Jesus. Expansion, progress shall be easy for you. Because it is your land. And it's a land that is flowing with milk and honey. The milk and honey, you will discover it. You will participate in it. You will give some of the milk and honey to others. Like Icy gave some wares out free. That is your story. From today, you won't struggle with anybody. Over anything. 
when they struggle with you, you leave it to them. Because God is multiplying your blessing. In your land, I decree you will become envy of nations. Envy of all your co-landlords. Envy of all your colleagues. In your land, you will become envy of your classmates. And very soon, your classmates will see you on top. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We appreciate you. Take us deeper in your knowledge. In this land where you have located us. We never regret dwelling in our land. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.